conversion, refining, and casting. Our mat is now 62% copper, but it still contains sulfur, iron, and other metals we do not want. The mat is poured from a ladle into another furnace, the converter. Here we add copper scrap and other materials the process needs, like anode skeletons recycled from the last phase of refining. Conversion produces sulfur dioxide gas. This gas and the gas from the flash furnace are filtered and water cleaned to make sulfuric acid, a product with many different uses. When conversion is over, we have blister copper, which is a whopping 99% pure. But 99% is not enough. On to the next stage in the process, fire refining. We blow natural gas into a refining furnace and the copper comes out 99.7% pure. From here, we run the copper to the most spectacular part of the entire factory, the casting wheel. The anode copper, which we keep molten, is poured into molds a meter square. As each mold fills up, the wheel turns and several streams of water fall onto the molds to cool them. It all takes just a little over five minutes. Eventually, the copper cools enough for us to pull the anodes out of the mold by their lugs. Ready! Here is our anode, a 320 kilo piece of nearly pure copper prepared for the next stage. <laughs>